On RC Kicks today, we're checking out a cool RC gadget from Sky RC. That's the corner weight system. Now, could this be a great stocking filler for you this Christmas? Stay tuned to find out. Hi, welcome to IC Kicks. On today's show, I've got something a bit cool to show you. That is the Sky RC corner weight system for your RC cars. And the whole point of this is to balance your cars so that you get uh, the same sort of turn on a left and a right and your front to back weight distribution is exactly how you like it. Now I'm gonna run this on my brand new Mission Schumacher front wheel drive car and see if I can dial it in. Um, it's quite an interesting one being that it's front wheel drive, so obviously there's a lot more weight over the front. So it'll be interesting to see what it's like straight out the box and then see if I can dial it in to get the balance right. So what can I tell you about this uh, little gadget? Well, looking at prices currently, um, you're looking at between £75 and £85-ish, depending if you get it from China Direct or if you get it in the UK. Now, that'll obviously come down to shipping times for you, so uh, you could save yourself the best part of £10, but you're going to take a lot longer for shipping. So uh, if you want this in time for Christmas, uh, you're probably going to spend a little extra to get it quicker than waiting for China. Now, it's not a big box, quite a small one. What else can I tell you about it? Well, it's uh, SK-500015. Uh, maximum weight per pad is 2,000 grams. So that means you can pretty much do one eighth and one tenth. Um, right, let's open it up and check it out and see what you get in the box. Right, inside the box you don't get much. You get a little bit of instructions, you get the main unit, and you get four pads. Now the pads have a little color-coded collar on them, so you need to line them up with the color-coded uh, corners. I'm guessing that's because they're calibrated out of the factory for you. You can recalibrate these yourself, but you need to have a uh, two, 2,000 gram weight, I think it is. Um, to calibrate them yourself. So just stick to putting the right color in the right corner. Now it looks like you get loads of information, but it's actually really simple. The four corners are the corner weights that the, the tire is distributing to each pad. Then in the middle is your total weight. And then the interesting ones is the percentages. So you get percentage of weight to the front, percentage of weight to the back, and left and right. So pretty straightforward, even though once it lights up, it looks like a bit of a Christmas tree, it's pretty straightforward to actually look at. Right, what I'll do is I'll plug it all in, which is really simple. You just take the correct pad and plug it in. Rear right, rear left. Also making sure they're the right color. Now to run this, you have the option of putting four AA batteries in the bottom of it, or you also get this cable here where you can actually plug it into your power supply and then have it connected. Uh, for the sake of the hassle, unless you've got the power supply already with you, um, you're just gonna use AA batteries. That's what I did. Now, one thing I found when you're lying, uh, putting these down, you wanna make sure that you don't get the cables over the top of them. The cables can get in the way a little bit. Um, and the pads do tend to move around a little bit as well. So that's something you've got to do. And then obviously you want to line it up first um, to make sure all the tires are in the middle. So we're going to use my brand new uh, mission uh, from Schumacher. So we'll just line up the actual, see the cable gets in the way a little bit. So you want to make sure that the cable's not where the wheels are going to be and stuff like that. That's the only thing I found that's a bit difficult. Uh, line it up. Put it in the middle. All right, there we go. So we now we are good for this car. If I was keeping this in mind, I'd probably get a board with some Velcro and then I can like move them around, but they, they stay pretty firm, but not permanent. So you can pull it out for bigger cars and stuff like that. But I'm borrowing this one. This is not mine. So obviously I'm not going to do that. And then the, all you've got is three buttons on the front, which is really easy. You press the on button and then it zeroes out for you. If it's not zeroed out, you can press the zero and it will clear everything. Uh, and there you go. So what you do is you take your car. Obviously, you want to put your battery in the car as well because it's important because it will massively 
change your weight distribution. Now currently as it sits here, we have got 58 at the front, 42% weight to the rear, and we are 49 to 51. So the weight distribution across is actually pretty good, and it's 58 to the front, 42 to the rear. Now we can dial it in a little bit more using things like uh, weights, little tiny weights, wheel weights, don't buy RC ones, just buy standard wheel weights that you put in cars, because it's the same thing, but a lot cheaper. Uh, also, you can move the electronics around, which is what we're gonna do. We're gonna try and dial this in to be 60-40 front to rear and 50-50 across both sides. So obviously when I turn right and left, it's distributed the weight evenly. So what am I gonna do? Well, one thing I've noticed is that this back left wheel seems to be the lightest. Now I've been messing with the uh, suspension a little bit because you can dial the shocks down. If you wanna put more weight down, you actually screw uh, the um, collar further down. So I've kind of got it closer because I've been playing with it as well myself, um, but I'm still light on this rear left wheel. So ideally what I wanna do is move the electronic speed controller and the receiver closer to that corner. Um, also, I found that if I take some additional weights, I can place them at the front here, which will give me a bit of better weight distribution, which now makes it 60 at the front, 40 at the rear. So I'm gonna move the electronic speed controller and the receiver towards the back left wheel to see if I can balance it out a little bit more to give me 50-50 across. Um, right, let's try that. Right, I've been at this for some time and you can spend ages on it. Now it's not just about getting the 50-50 distribution across and 60-40 if you're running a two wheel drive, but also it's how different the wheels are across. So what the rear left and the rear right should be putting down roughly the same way. So you can really spend ages trying to dial in that. And also, once you've done that, if you put the body on, that changes it again. So then you're dialing in. So you dial it in for the chassis, then you do the body, and then you have to dial it in again, which takes even longer. So if you currently look as the chassis is now with the body off, we are at 49 on the right, 51, 60, 40. I've put some weights on the back left, as well as over the nose. And that gives me my nice balance, but I'm still off 49. Now, the front right is 374.9 grams, and the left is 378.4 grams. So very close. There's only four point something grams in it. And the rear currently is 262 grams, 261 grams, it's just changed, to 232 grams. So the rears are the ones that have been giving me the problem. The rear left has been giving me the biggest problem. But then once I put the body on, if I try not to hit the camera, now we'll let it settle down. And now the front is 401.7 front right, 403.6 front left. So very close, only two grams in it. And the rear is now 260 on the left and 283 on the right. And we've got 51.49, but if you push it down a little bit, eventually it will settle. It's very, it does change quite a lot. I'm now down into the tiny margins, and I had it a little while ago at 50.50, so it's now 49, but it's 285 at the rear and 258. So the problem is there's still the rears, the fronts are very close. Um, but there's not much in it, and I think I'm gonna call it a day there. Also, I've just found out I've got a leaky shock, so I've got to fix that. Where I've been messing around with it, it started to leak. But I'm close, I'm very close. Um, on the even, it's that back left. The back left always sits that little bit lighter. And uh, I don't know why, and I've got weights over it, I've got 50 grams over it, and also I've moved the electronic speed controller around. So that's as good as I'm gonna get. 
Now I'll take it for a spin and uh, I'll see what it's like, but I haven't driven this car yet anyway, so it'll be interesting to see whether this makes any difference. But I can highly recommend it, it's a bit of fun, and also if you're doing a lot of racing, then you'll probably will need one of these. Um, so there you go. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next one. Bye-bye.